Hey everyone, I'm Arbaz here and welcome to a brand new Civilization 5 Brave New World game. Hungary won the recent poll by quite a significant margin, so this is the game that we will be playing. If you don't know what poll I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description below. Before we get started, a quick reminder what exact game settings we're playing with. So first of all, we are playing on a large map with Sandstorm map template, on data difficulty with epic game pace. We are also playing with quite a lot of mods. This game uses all modded civilizations, which obviously includes our own Hungary. I'm using JFD civilizations and colonialist legacies. If you're not familiar with them, I highly encourage you to check them out. The links are, as usual, in the video description. We are also playing with Smart AI, which fixes some of the dumb things AIs tend to do. Info Addict, which I always play with. Enhanced user interface, which is technically not a mod, so it's not listed here. And last but not least, more luxuries and more pantheons. There's a full list of all of these mods, including links to all of them in the video description. So again, I highly encourage you to check them out, if you're not familiar with them. So, let's get started, we need to settle our capital. Now, I'm not going to settle on spot, because this right here is actually a coastal tile, which is pretty obvious if you look close enough. This is an ocean or a coastal tile. So I might actually settle on the plains right here. I want to see what kind of tile this is. I'm going to move east, like so. And that's a hill. Yeah, these are both coastal tiles, as you can see. Again, that was pretty obvious. I might actually settle right here, because that will give us a coastal capital next to a mountain. So with the observatory in the future, and next to a river, too. Yeah, I think that's the best choice, even though we will lose two turns, but that's okay. Oh, hey, we got wine. I will still have sugar in range if I settle on top of this hill. Yeah, this is obviously the best city location around here. Even if I lose two turns, I do think that's worth it. Also, there's one thing about Hungary that I didn't actually know about when I was starting this game. So Hungary actually gets some faith per turn right from the start of the game, from their capital. I do believe that will kick in on the next turn. So we are pretty much guaranteed to get a Pantheon. We might even get the first Pantheon in this game. I think we'll get two faith per turn. Anyway, research is going to be pottery, obviously, and we will build a scout. I lock the tile with two food. And let's see, I'm pretty sure I'll get two faith per turn right now. Free faith per turn, okay, that's even better. So we are pretty much guaranteed to get a Pantheon. We might even get the first Pantheon, which means we have a pretty good chance to get Desert Folklore, which is obviously going to be amazing on Sandstone map. I had no idea Hungary actually gets faith per turn <laughs> right from the start. That makes Hungary really damn good on this map template. So let's grab the Ruin, plus Fairy Culture, nice. And that means we can pick Tradition in three turns. I am going with Tradition, I am not going to experiment with social policies in this game. But I'm not sure what policy we will go for after Tradition is filled, we'll see. There are a lot of good choices here, but we have a lot of time to decide that. Alright, one more turn. We need to find some good locations for cities. So we will scout around, as usual. Let's unlock Tradition. And three more turns for the scout. I do quite like this location. I don't like the fact there seem to be a lot of mountains around here. And there's a Pantheon already. So that means we got the first Pantheon in this game. And we can grab Desert Folklore. I'm not even going to look at all these other new Pantheons. Because Desert Folklore is obviously the best choice. Now that will give us some faith immediately, once we get the incense tiles. I might actually go for monasteries in here, even if we don't find any more incense or wine. Oh nice, pottery. That will speed things up. We don't actually need a shrine, but I might still get it regardless. Nah, I think I prefer worker. We are already getting free faith per 10 and we will get a lot more faith with desert folklore. I think shrine can wait. A worker is going to be a lot more important. We will obviously need calendar to actually hook up the incense. We need our border to spread faster. Because these two tiles will actually be pretty amazing. That's going to be two food, two gold and one faith. From our pantheon. 
And this seems to be a dead end. Yeah, this tile is quite obviously coastal from all sides. Alright then, we'll go south then. Our scout is ready, so let's go in this general direction. Oh, there's a natural wonder. Oh, seriously? It's literally four tiles away from our capital. It's just one tile out of our range. That kind of sucks. But even if I knew about this, I wouldn't settle here. Because then I would lose the river. That's not worth it. Oh well. I guess we'll live with that. There might be a good city location to the south, hopefully. I would obviously prefer to have this in my capital, but... I'm happy that we have a coastal capital with a mountain and with a river. Can't complain about that. Let's log this. We need to find a decent city location close to that wonder. And maybe even settle it next. I'm thinking about a city in this area. I guess this desert hill would be a decent location. We would be able to get a garden in that city. We would get three tiles with fish. We would get two tiles with sheep. We would also get sugar in range. If I decide to work it in this city and not in my capital. And we would be able to get farms on all of these tiles around the lake. This wouldn't be the best city I've ever seen, but it would be decent enough. Especially with our Pantheon, I guess. A desert hill with faith and a farm is not too bad. I can't afford to be picky on this map. And wow, that's an insane choke point right here. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. This would actually be an okay-ish city. Again, not great, but there's a lake. So I could build farms on all of these tiles, but that's a lot of mountains. If one of the AIs settles this location, this will be insanely hard to break through. Holy crap, this is the most insane choke point I've ever seen. Seriously? If this is not a dead end, this is actually insane. But let's explore a little bit more. There's silver over here. That's quite nice. We have quite a few different luxuries around here. We have incense, we have sugar, we have wine, marble. That's pretty good, actually. I might want to settle somewhere around here. I'm not sure. I need to explore this area right here. It might be possible to settle almost right next to Rock of Gibraltar. I don't know. We'll see. We need to explore. So, yeah, I'm not buying that tile. I guess I'll just work the Tufod Coastal tile. And keep working on the worker. We need to get that worker ASAP. Especially since I don't see any city-state very close to us. So we might not be able to steal a worker. Oh, there's a neighbor here already. Okay. Where's his actual city then? Probably right here. I don't like that too much. If he settles this choke point, he's going to be very hard to break. Yeah, that's his capital. That's not good. We might want to do something about that. And this is a really good terrain around here. Yeah, I think he's going to be our first target. You know, with Desert Folklore on this kind of map, I might actually go for Holy Warriors, if I can. That would actually be great. That would give me a lot of early extra units. But we'll see what's available once we get our religion. We will actually get a great profit pretty soon. Oh hey, thanks for the Barbarian Camp. Especially once we start working all these tiles. I need to get the Flood planes because that's not only good food, that's also faith. We need to pop that great prophet as soon as possible to get all the good beliefs. I'm strongly considering going for monasteries. Even if I don't find any more incense or wine, a monastery in our capital alone is going to be pretty good. But we'll see. We'll see what's available. We might even get the first religion. If we're lucky, then we could pick whatever we want. Possibly. Okay, I can't go through here. Alright then, we'll go west. This is a really good location for a city. Yeah, this area is pretty crazy, considering this is a sandstone map. The sandstone map doesn't mean it's all desert. It's just majority of it. Alright then. So these guys seem to be very close to each other. I might be able to get them to fight each other. And then I could attack Yerevan myself. I'll have to take Yerevan as soon as possible, preferably. This is a really good city, in fact. Yep. This city would be bigger than my capital, eventually, if I can take it early enough. 
It has a lot of food nearby. And only two or three desert tiles in range. Right, let's go back because I can't go through here. Well, I might be able to go through here, but I don't like that barbarian. Our warrior can go west. So, someone picked some pantheon already, that's fine. Nine more turns for the worker. There's no city state around here, so I won't be stealing a worker from the looks of it. That's fine. Can we go here safely? No, not really. That hand axe would kill our scout very easily. I might be able to lure that hand axe towards Armenia. Or I can just kill myself and try to go through there anyway. I could block this choke point to prevent Armenia from sending a settler east because this seems to be a decent location for a city. From what I can see already. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I might even settle this myself. I just need to prevent Armenia from settling that. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is a really good location for a city. Holy crap. That's a lot of sheep. Five tiles with sheep? Okay, I definitely want this. In fact, I want a city right where my scout is. Yep. Or maybe in here. That would be a coastal city with a river and with a mountain. And I would reach almost all of these tiles with sheep, except this one. He's four tiles away from this city, so this would piss him off big time. Hmm, I don't know. I would have this ship to the north. I would also have the silver. And I would have this tile with silver. Yeah, this is actually a really good city. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the marble. I need to explore this area. This is a very interesting map. I've not seen anything like this in a long time or ever. This is a really insane choke point. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Right, I definitely need to block this. If I just fortify my scout right here, he won't be able to go through here. I do want to explore, but at the same time I want to block that area. <laughs> I could totally use one more scout, but I don't really have time for that. I'll just take a look around and then leave my scout on top of this hill. Okay, oh, there's a worker in here. That has to be a city-state worker then. Surely that can't be Armenia's worker. Yeah, so that means there's a city-state somewhere around here. I might want to make contact with that, if only for the extra gold. But I obviously can't beat a hand axe with a scout, I need to get out of here. So let's get out of here. I'm going to need archery. Here's another AI. So I'll research archery right after calendar is done, and then probably just buy an archer in my capital. Another pantheon. And the third city-state. What are they specialized in? Let's have a look. Ski infantry. Alright then. So, my scout will just stay here. Obviously, Armenia could still send a settler once they get optics, but I will delay them a little bit. They want to be able to start their third city over here, at least. And that might give me enough time to send a settler myself. This might actually be my second city. The problem with this city is that it would be a little bit far away from my capital. I wouldn't be building a road through these mountains, that's for sure. <laughs> that would be a little bit too expensive for my taste. But that's the best city location that I can see around here. I'm still going to start a city in this general area, probably right on top of the desert hill. But this one should be first, for sure. Alright then, there's the worker. So, we don't really need the shrine. I don't think so, it's better to get started on the granary instead. As for our research order, we're going to need sailing to grab this fish, or both of these fish tiles. And we might need optics a little bit later, but we'll see. We definitely need sailing, so we'll grab that. We probably want animal husbandry to get pastures eventually. Right, let's get started from the incense. I should actually be working both of these tiles right now. So let's do exactly that. I missed out a little bit, but that's okay. We might actually get the first religion in this game, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Obviously that's thanks to a modern civilization, but hey. A fact is a fact. So work this. 
I don't think I want one hammer and two gold more than I want extra food. Yeah, this city needs to grow. The faster, the better. Let's get started on that plantation. And now we just wait for Pop 4 and start recruiting a settler. I won't have enough money to just buy a settler because that's 680. We will probably buy our second settler for the third city. Now, I'm not selling embassy because I don't want the AIs to know where my capital is. And here's a natural wonder. That's always a little bit of extra happiness. Now, stop asking. I already found quite a few civilizations, so that's nice. I might actually build a trireme just to explore this area. Well, obviously, first I have to actually research sailing, but once I research sailing, I will probably grab one just to explore. There's obviously a city state to the southeast, so I want to find that. Landed elite next. So, this is a very interesting start. I've not had a start like this in a very long time. This should be a very interesting game. We need to find more AIs, if only to have more shading partners. Nine more turns for the city to grow. I don't think I can speed this up. Alright then. If Holy Warriors are still available, by the time I get my religion, I might grab that. But I might go for Monastery first. Declaration of Friendship? Yeah, sure. I could use a trading partner because I'm about to get some incense. There's archery. I might sell my first incense and then buy an archer instantly. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having an archer already. I want to block this choke point. I'm almost considering starting a city in this choke point too. That would make it easier to attack all these people. I don't know, we'll see. I see four fairly decent locations for cities. And there's probably a good location for a city down here to the south, but I don't want to go there because I would have to move my scout. We can explore that later. Anyway, selling is next, so let's sell that incense. No, he only has 38 gold, never mind. We'll wait. I want to get flat gold for this deal. I'll wait until he has a little bit more than that. He's getting 7 gold per 10, alright. Maybe he'll find some gold from ruins or something. We only found 2 ruins in this game, which kind of sucks, but I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Especially on Deity, when AI start with multiple units. Let's go a little bit closer to see what's going on in here. Not a whole lot, I suppose. Alright then, let's back up. No, I didn't want to send that. I think that was a worker. What was that? Oh no, that was my warrior. Right, you're staying here. I guess I'll just explore north. There's a chance we'll find some ruins close to the North Pole. Then I think we are getting close to the North Pole. I think that's our best bet. Oh great, hand axe. Now I need to buy that archer, but I can't really afford that yet. I need to make that trade right now, so let's do it. That's going to be 83 gold and some gold per 10. Probably 5. He won't give us 6, that's for sure. Yep, 5 gold per 10. Yeah, that's good enough. We might actually lose that worker. In fact, we will lose that worker unless I go here. We need that archer. But yeah, if I go here, that hand axe would actually be able to capture the worker. I need to move west. That's the only way to be sure. Yeah, he will probably pillage our incense. That's what I expect. But at least with this archer it should be easier. He's dead. Alright, he didn't get a chance to pillage our plantation. But this means there's a barbarian camp somewhere to the north. Probably. I mean, that hand axe came from somewhere. They don't usually spawn out of thin air. So let's finish that plantation and send our archer north. Okay, we got 4 population, but I let the granary finish, because it's almost done already, so might as well. Only 2 turns, and then we'll send the settler south. At least I don't think I'm going to change my mind about that. That's obviously an awesome location for a city, and if I don't settle that fast enough, Armenia will definitely do it. 
e even though I'm keeping a scout here, they will just get optics and send the settler through the sea. Can I actually go through here? Maybe. Right. Let's get started on that settler then. How many turns will it take? I can probably speed it up. Let's remove all of that crap. I could buy another tile, but I don't want to waste my money for that. We'll just work all the tiles with production. I do want to get some gold and faith, however. That's 15 turns. Yep, still 15 turns. I think that's the best way. We'll get a settler in 15 turns and we are still getting 9 gold per turn. Alright then, yeah, this seems to be the best way. So 15 turns, then it will take us probably around 10 to actually get down here. Hopefully Armenia won't settle this by the time we get here. And this should make it much easier to attack them. They will have to be our first target. We don't actually have any other targets. And Yerevan is a pretty good city, I want to take it. Did they build any wonders yet? No, I don't think so. But hopefully they will, by the time we attack them. Let's see, who picked what kind of opener? Piety, Mexico picked Piety, the Vandals picked Liberty, Honor, Honor. Oh, Armenia picked Honor, okay. I'm not actually sure how aggressive all these civilizations are. I just assume someone like the Vandals are going to be aggressive, but I have no idea. I'm just guessing. But if the AI picks Honor, it's usually planning some early wars. Or it's more likely to start early wars. So I definitely want to take care of Armenia before they attack me. And the last one was what? I think that was Canada with tradition. Yep. Alright. They already have three policies in tradition. So, now we get to wait for the settler. The creation of friendship. Yeah, we could use some more training partners. The only civilization I'm not going to sign the creation of friendship with right now is Armenia. <laughs> because I plan to attack them. So where's that barbarian camp? There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere around here. No, I'm not selling embassy. I'll just get embassy with writing. Right. I could get a little bit of extra faith if I slow down the settler, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's connect the wine, because we didn't actually do it. I don't think there's a barbarian camp in here. So where did that hand axe come from? That was a little bit strange. There's no point to go north anymore, there's nothing here. And I don't have optics yet. I might actually research optics next. Maybe, I don't know. My settler would get here faster with optics, but we won't get optics before the settler is done. Alright, let's go back for now, not with the worker. Start that plantation. I only found one city-state so far. That's a little bit annoying. There's obviously a city-state to the east, right here. Because that barbarian stole a worker. From a city-state, not from a civilization. That was pretty obvious. Temple of Artemis, okay. I guess I can see who built it. Someone I didn't meet yet. Oh, Canada built it, alright. I hope Armenia will build some wonder in their capital, so I can actually take it. I won't be starting a war that fast. I am hoping to get holy warriors, but probably with my enhanced religion, not right away. There are no world religions yet, and we will get a great prophet in 7 turns. So I can either go for holy warriors right away, or I can grab a monastery. A monastery in my capital would be really good. Even if I don't get any more cities with incense or wine. I don't see any more incense or wine around here. But I think it's still worth getting it. However, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.